to my channel if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing today i'm going to teach you how to cut a shiki dress or bubu dress so i have my fabric here ready and it's folded into four so this is one two for the front one two for the back the breadth of the fabric is 36 so folded 18 so 36 for front and 36 for back and then the length is 40 but i made it 42 because i'll be folding the down parts okay so let's go into it so first um measure my back measurement is 16 so i'll measure it here eight okay then i'll measure so shoulder slope i'll measure shoulder slope one and a half inch okay then from my shoulder to waist is my shoulder to waist is um 17 17 or 17 so i'll add half inches to it then my shoulder from my waist to hip I'm going to make it nine. Nine. Okay. So shoulder slope. I'm going to cut this off. That is from shoulder slope to my shoulder. Okay. And so when we come to the neck dip, I'm going to use three. And then the neck width, I'll use three. But for a slim person, the person can use two and a half. I'll use three. Neck dip for the back, I'm going to use one and a half. Or you can make it one, but I'm using one and a half for the back. So I'm marking the back one. Then I'll mark the front one. Okay. Now when we come to the sleeve part, because this one, the sleeve is cut together. So I'm going to mark here 10. By the time I will sew this part and sew this part, it will reduce to 9. I'll use 10. Okay. Then I'll come here. Inches. Two inches here, then I'll come here like one and a half inch. After this, if you want to shape it, you can decide to use your waist measurement at the waist area. Mine is from shoulder to waist is 17. I added half and so I'll just um my waist is 36 36 then I will add um allowance to it 36 divided by 4 will be 9 so 9 here then I can decide to add the allowance I want 1 2 3 4 4 inches is okay or better still when you measure this place is 16 16 so 16 you can decide to reduce it by 2 or 3 so i have 13 here which is okay then you come to the hip area my hip is 44 44 divided by 2 is going to be 11 so 11 here then you will decide what you want so the amount of extra allowance you want so 11 i have like one two three four five five inches i can decide to make it four but five is okay when you come to the down part here so this here is 16 the bust line here too is 16 it's okay so when i come to the down here i will decide to 16 i'll reduce it by two and make it 14 make it 14 14. then I will join the line so 
I'm going to join this. Join it here. Then when you get here to use the same curve to join. You are not going to make it straight because the, the down is not straight. So you use the same curve to curve it, the down part of the curve to curve it. So this is a free dress. Now if you don't want it shaped this way, you can decide that from this from this point you just go straight to the hip line straight to the hip straight to the hip line so you cut it this way and if you want it shaped you are going to cut it like what i have and so we'll be cutting we'll be cutting it and we'll first cut our back the back neck after I'll take it off and cut the front neck. So this is it. Now I'm going to extend my shoulder slope from here to the neckline. I'm going to extend it to the neckline. No longer the shoulder line. So I'm going to extend it to the neckline. I'll be cutting this excess one from it. So you can decide to leave it this way, sew it this way. Or you can decide to shape it out. Front neck. So from the shoulder, I'm going to mark eight. Then I'll create my slates. Okay, so okay, so I have it done this way. Then I'm going to cut facing for it. I'm going to cut facing for both the front and the back. So I'll first take the back one and put this there and put it on top. For instance, if you are using, you can decide to use two different fabrics so that you use the facing to design it, put it on top instead of uh, putting it inside. It will be on top and it will be a design on the dress. But mine is going inside. <laughs> This is back. This is the back. Hope you can see, and this is the facing for it. So I will attach it this way, and so, so, and then turn it inside. Then this is the front. This is the front. I'll attach this so all through this way then I'll sew through 
then turn it inside and then I will join the dress. I will also reduce this the length either by two inches or one and a half inches. Then I'll have my dress. Attach the um, facing to the dress. This is the back. So I will fold it this way inside and then hem the spots. Hem it. I will hem the spots for it to be flat. This way. And I have folded the down part too. I reduced it by two inches. I folded it two inches. I folded it down two inches. So at the end of that, I'll get 39 long. And this is the front too. I have my facing in it. So this is my facing. I will hem this part to attach it. And this one, I have also done the folded the and the sleeve part one inch, and I have done the down also. So I'm going to mark my measurement in it, and then attach the front and the back to it. Then I'm done with my dress. So the waist. This is um, 27. I'm going to measure out two inch from both sides. Two inch from both sides. When I finish and I wear and I feel it's too loose for me, I can decide to reduce it. But for now, I'm going to measure two inches on both sides. So it's going to be 23. So at the end of the day, it's going to be 46. And then the hip side too, I'm going to measure two inches from both sides. Then I have um, 28. This side too. Okay, I have um, 29. I'm going to reduce this one also 2 inches. And 2 inches. So, I'm going to join. And so, but for the sleeve area, I'll mark here. one inch yes i'll mark one inch here one inch here and i'll sew either one or half an inch out at the top so one inch here and then this place to one inch sorry one inch here so i'll join the points to join both for you to see. So I have the face in this way. Yes. I'll just hem it and it will lie down flat. Wait. Ah, the shiki dress or bubu dress. It's the loose one. Yes. This dress, if you wear it long, it doesn't look nice. Unless, if you want it long, it should be very long, down. To your feet if not it should be either to your knee or above your knee a bit 
that one it looks better beautiful so mine will be about my knee small i don't want it very short so about my knee small let me see i have 38 length here almost 39 which is okay for me okay, um friends this is the dress i have i have hemmed the neckline so it's now a tie to it well okay the first style i did i decided to change it if you, the first style i shaped it this way as you can see this is the shape the needle line the shape i shaped shaped it this way but after i realized that that is not how i want it so i had to change the style with no shape and reduce the the measurements so i went in three inches that is three that is three inches from the original line this place two inches and then three inches here making five inches so from the ends of the dress i went in five inches but from the original line i went in three inches for both sides so that i can get that shape very well when i wear it you will see it you will see what i mean and, and I use the hip measurement all throughout to the waist to all throughout to the waist line. I didn't shape it like I didn't shape I didn't give it any shape. I just use the hip measurement all through to the waist and reduce it at the armhole here. So the armhole this place at first I measured one. I measured one but I reduced it to half inch because I didn't want it to be tight when i wore it i realized it was a big tie so i reduced it to half inch and then mark the line straight to the waist using the hip measurement at the waist area straight then i reduce it down here This is the style of the dress. This is the so you can see that the down here is as this curve in. So this is what I I mean. This like this. And so this is my bubu dress or the shiki dress. We are done for it. Please. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share the video, like and comment, let me know your view. If you don't understand something, just give a comment there. I will try my best to explain it for you. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Please subscribe. Bye-bye. I will run, I will climb, I will soar.